I'm going to do my best to make Rescorla and Wagner proud. Because if you understand Rescorla Wagner, you understand unpairing. Unpairing's really easy, folks. It's, we're getting deeper into it just so you can make it more cool um, and give us you know, more time on the video because really all we have to do is worry about this. Remember that when you're talking about classical conditioning, which is the best way to do with, with this example, mind you, a CS must predict a US. And the way to make that work, and if you go back to the original article, it talked about varying the prob probability of the US occurring in the presence of the CS, all right? So if you want to establish conditioning, that's the way you do it. U.S. happens in the presence of the C.S. So eventually the C.S. comes to predict the U.S. Let's break that prediction. Unpair. Present the C.S. over and over. That's one way to do it. Or you could present the C.S. without the U.S. Actually, you could still present the C.S., but just make sure it's not contingent and that there's no same predictability at the same time. Or predictability, actually. It's, you don't want the same time. That's simultaneous conditioning. It doesn't work as well. Uh, so trace conditioning. So anyway, you get the idea, folks. You're going to unpair something by breaking the predictability between the two stimuli of a CS and a US. Generalize that over into uh, reinforcers and condition reinforcers, and you understand what we're getting at. Whoosh.